Lee Carsley has confirmed that Jared Branthwaite left the England squad due to a injury picked up during Evans' goalless draw at West Ham at the weekend. It was a different injury than the one that Branthwaite sustained after the Crystal Palace game, uh, which means, you know, he was fit to play. Um, and he has now gone back to Finch Farm to get treatment on that with Carsley saying he didn't want to aggravate it because he has had, a, obviously, an operation on his groin area. It's to do with the pelvic bone and the groin area. So, um, obviously, he had surgery in the summer, didn't he, on the groin. So, we've got to be very careful with that. I'd rather him be back at Finch Farm anyway, resting and being ready for the Brentford game a week on Saturday. Uh, former Everton striker Moise Keane has said that he had no regrets about joining Everton. He uh, obviously arrived when he was 19 years of age from Juventus and he said he hoped he would play a lot. Didn't play enough, uh, but said he learned a lot during that year at Everton. He said Calvert-Lewin was scoring goals, Richarlison was scoring goals and I found it difficult to get in the side. He has scored eight times in 11 games for Fiorentina and is back in the Italian squad. Jake O'Brien has said that he is hoping once he gets in the Everton side, he'll take his chance and there'll be no looking back from there. O'Brien, who joined the Toffees in the summer for £15 million from Leon, has found chances hard to come by so far under Sean Deitch. Um, he is in the Irish squad tonight. He places uh, Finland there, but he's he's been speaking about that. He did really well last season for Leon. scored obviously six goals. Um Came here hoping, I imagine, to uh, to put pressure on the likes of Jared Branthwaite and Michael Keane. But unfortunately for him, Michael Keane was preferred during Branthwaite's uh, absence. And he's only therefore featured in the Carabao Cup. But hopefully once he does get his opportunity in the team, he can prove himself and prove that he was a good signing for Everton. And finally, John Texter has been speaking about his uh, failed bid to take Everton from Farab Mashiri. Texter said that he can talk about it publicly now. He said, and saying for the first time, we were 24 hours away from owning Everton Football Club. He said all that was needed was for the documents to be sent and the money to be transferred over and we would have had the club. He said, little did we know that the... Uh, Mishiri, Farad Mishiri was uh, in negotiations with somebody else at the same time. He said, sometimes hand, a handshake is good enough, but on this occasion it wasn't, and we've learned that the hard way. Obviously, Farad Mishiri then agreed a deal with the freaking group to buy Everton, and that takeover hopefully will be completed within the next four weeks. There you go. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Also, check out John Blaine's interview with Mike Gittens, who is head of data science and insight about how Everton have made the decisions they have to move from Goodison Park to the Everton New Stadium, what they're going to do with their season ticket holders and everything else. So check that out. See you later.